Hey everyone, I've got my latest uh, work from home tip for you today. Uh, at this point, we've all been working from home, sheltering in place, remote working, at home working, whatever you want to call it, uh, for a bit. And you're starting to maybe get a little better at it. It's, uh, you're starting to get some new muscles and some new skills. So I'm going to take the next step and go to a, a 201 level class. Uh, you're a, a more advanced level in terms of how to think about remote working. One of the challenges that you're probably seeing right now is the flow of information. Uh, when you're working in an office, information tends to come to you, uh, whether it's someone right next to you telling you what to do or working with your team or everybody jumping into a conference room. When you're working remotely, information does not come to you and you probably noticed that. Uh, and, and emails are not necessarily uh, the right solution. You're probably using email, you're using Slack, you're using some other messaging. You're, I hope you're doing video conferences like this. Uh, but what you have to think about is how you get information and how other people are getting information about what you're doing in, in terms of work. Uh, and uh, look, I'm not gonna step on whatever you're doing as an organization, but just realize that there's things that, that you have to go out of your way now to do. You have to go out of your way to make meetings with people to just to, to just to catch up you have to go out of your way to either uh, subscribe to or find information about what is happening within your organization outside of your particular group whether it's a internal community a workplace uh, or something like that or whether it's newsletters or even just maybe you're having weekly hangouts or uh, all hands meetings that you can just sit in on or you can it's been recorded and you can watch but that's one of the biggest challenges of working from home or working remotely in general is that information does not come to you. You have to go get it. So start thinking about how do you subscribe or get notified or get in the loop for the information that not only you need to do your job because that you probably have, but the stuff that makes your job more interesting or maybe gives you a better idea of what's happening within your organization. So that's uh, work from home 201. Uh, hope you guys are, are, are really, uh, getting used to it, uh, finding how to make the best of it. And of course, always ask me anything, send your questions. Hang in there, keep going.